Good morning, everybody. Surprise, surprise. Yes, it's me again. Gary's having some technical problems at the sanctuary. So uh, my apologies for not having Gary up as usual on a Wednesday morning. And I'll be with you in just a moment. Just have to do my normal sort things out. But uh, we'll get there in just a second. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Oh, it seems to be becoming a Wednesday habit, this. <laughs> right, okay, where's my... Pairing successfully. Let's see if I've got my music up or not. Disconnected. Nice to have a little voice talking to you when you're doing this. Normally we do all these sort of um, set-up things a little bit earlier in the day. <laughs> but we will get there. We will get there. Pairing successfully. Gary is uh, fine, by the way. Um, thank you for asking, Doreen. It's not Gary. It's his, his technical device. So, let's leave you a little, with a little bit of Tim Wheater for a moment. I've just got to sort out my paperwork. Got an article here I was going to read uh, in a couple of weeks, so I'll I'll read that one today. Oh, get myself comfortable. Well, I hope you're all managing to tune in on this uh, Wednesday morning. In the UK, it's going to be a rather a wet and miserable day, I think, in around most of the country. Lots of rain coming across, certainly we've got a lot of rain here in Reading. Um, and as I look out the window across the road, I can see everybody queuing up for their, um, for their jabs, for their vaccinations, because we have a centre right opposite us. Um, it's regularly in use. Okay. Not quite sure what I'm doing, but I'll, I'll busk it through, so... Lovely to see you all on this Wednesday morning. Sorry we're running late, about 10 minutes late, but uh, we'll catch up now. So make yourselves comfortable, whether you're lying on a bed, on a couch, sitting in a chair, wherever you are, just relax down through the body. Take some nice slow breaths. Breathe out all the waste air. And take a nice big in breath. And with every out breath, you're getting rid of not just the waste air, but all the things you don't want in your life and in your body. And as you breathe in, you're bringing in all the good things. Fresh air for your lungs, oxygen to pump round your body, and that wonderful healing energy. A big bubble of energy that we're in every morning for the healing minute. And that energy is for us all. So if it's safe to do so, just close your eyes. And just focus on the breath for a moment or two longer. I'm going to take you for a walk through the sanctuary grounds in our meditation now. And the story I'll read later will be another walk through the grounds written by Juliet Granger. Or the Hina magazine a few years ago. Now at the moment we have some walks taking place at the sanctuary to mark the 75th anniversary of Harry Edwards buying Burroughs Lee back in 1946. And a few of us have already started doing the walk that Vincent has marked out for us. The aim is for each one of the sponsored volunteers to complete 75 miles over the next few weeks. I'm yet to get started, 
that Teresa was out yesterday doing her walk. And Julia has walked some of the circuit already. And I think Vincent himself has already done a few laps. But at the moment, the sanctuary woods are laden with daffodils. So just imagine you're there this morning. Let's assume it's a nice warm sunny day. Just imagine the sun shining down through the treetops. All the leaves on the ground that have been there since the autumn are crisp underfoot. And the daffodils look glorious at this time of year. So just stroll down any of the paths through the woods. They all basically lead to the same place at the end. As whichever way we walk, we end up down by the meditation glade. And that is an area it is really peaceful. And you can look out from there across the Surrey Hills, across the neighbouring fields. So sit for a moment on a bench or sit on the grass if it's dry. You can hear the birds singing the morning chorus. And just breathe in that beautiful air and take in that beautiful energy into your bodies. And let us attune now for this morning's healing minute. We give thanks that we are gathered here today we ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body. Then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure unconditional love balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. And as Harry Edwards wrote, May I be thankful for all the blessings I already have, Grant me relief from pain and sickness. Protect me from all ills and grant me good health in the days to come. Remove all causes of imperfection and bring your healing ministers close to me that I may be conscious of their presence and so receive guidance and inspiration. Grant me courage and fortitude to overcome all adversity. Let me be conscious of your strength in all times of need and grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me how to live rightly in your sight, to do only that which is right and true. I pray that good guidance and right influencing will inspire all your peoples to be as brothers, one to the other, and that peace shall endure for all time. Amen. And the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, light has come forth into the minds of men. Light is now anchored on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, love has come forth into the hearts of men. Love has returned to earth. From the centre where the will of God is known, purpose is guiding the little wills of men the purpose which the masters know and serve. And from the centre which we call the race of men, the plan of love and light is working out and is cleansing harmful energies. 
love, light and power are restoring the plan on earth. And we ask now that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder may receive healing for their highest good. We also request healing for their family, friends and people for whom they have requested distant healing. And at this time we send our love and our healing thoughts out to every distant healing folder in the whole wide world and to every person wherever they are and to the whole of the animal kingdom. We send our love and we send our healing at this very difficult time. So let's have our one minute silence to send out all our lovely personal thoughts. May everyone be placed in the healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. And our thanks to all of you this morning for joining us for the Healing Minute and to all our wonderful friends in spirit. Thank you everybody, thank you. So continue to contact us in the normal way. Val, Veronica, Sue, Joe, whoever answers the phone will only be too happy to help you. Arrange a chat, arrange some healing over one of our wonderful clever systems these days, over Zoom, based FaceTime, you know, Skype, or just on a normal telephone, whatever you like. So, what else have we got happening this week? Well, um, tomorrow morning, Stephanie will be here with you for the Healing Minute. Um, and then two o'clock tomorrow afternoon, John Phillips will be doing his guided meditation. So do join Stephanie in the morning and John in the afternoon if you can. John's meditation will be on Zoom as well as on Facebook. And then at the weekend, uh, I'm trying to work out what we're doing this weekend. I think it's um, Saturday. Saturday is Elizabeth Whiter, I think, doing the animal workshop, if I remember. That's right, because I had to come off air very sharp on Saturday morning with the healing with it because... Uh, the workshop starts at 10.15 and goes on until 3.15 in the afternoon. Um, all the details are on Facebook and our website page. Um, and uh, it is an Eventbrite um, fundraising event, so there is a charge for it. Um, so you find out all the details and if you'd like to join, that would be lovely. Elizabeth Whiter is very well known in the healing field. Wonderful animal healer um, and she's... I'm quite sure who's phoning me at quarter past ten in the morning, but still, sorry about that. Um, and anyway, join join Elizabeth Whiter in the workshop on Saturday if you can. On Sunday, after Doreen's Healing Minute, uh, I'm afraid you've got to put up with me again. I I am doing um, a Healing For You um, event at 10.15. Uh, no, sorry, that's a lie. 10.30 on Sunday morning. So you've got time to make a cuppa and get yourself a glass of water or whatever after Doreen's Healing Minute um, and I'll be up at 10.30 to give everybody who joins um, a wonderful healing. Um, I'll explain the details at the time. Um, I'll be doing a meditation for about 10 minutes and then giving everybody on Zoom or if you join us on Facebook um, 20 minutes of healing. It's much the way I did it for the um, open healing circles a few weeks ago. 
Um, so if any of you joined me on that, then you'll know what to expect. But I will explain again for those who are newbies um, to this. We do it very briefly in the same way as we do one-to-one -one healings. But you'll all be a one-to-one -one with me at the same time. So I will be sending out that lovely universal energy to you all. Anyway, Sunday morning. Um, I think that's about all I can remember off the top of my head as I don't have any notices written out today <laughs> in front of me. So I do have an article which I grabbed very quickly on my way into this room. It is one I did read uh, out um, April last year, 18th of April I read it. The article was written back in 2013 by um, a lovely friend of the sanctuary, Juliet Granger. Um, and it's entitled 15 Minutes in the Woods. So I'm going to read that to you. I'm just given a meditation in the woods. Here is a nice story of, of Juliet's experiences there. Get rid of all the posters and sticks that I've got everywhere. So this is the Sanctuary Woods in early April and Juliet shares a special walk with us. Closing the heavy wood front door behind me, I step out into the drive and stand still, absorbing the cool April air washed fresh by last night's rain. Birdsong reaches me at once, the tapping of the green woodpecker as it drills echoes through the trees. I reach the car park and head off to the left. A black rabbit hops between the cars. I have seen these black rabbits before near Gatwick Airport and wonder at the parentage that has brought about this gene now seen all over Surrey. I choose the path that leads down alongside the fields. It is thick with fallen leaves, now made silent by the rain. I pause many times to listen and take in. The angry chatter of two squirrels catches my attention. They almost fall at my feet out of a holly bush in their fury, and seeing me standing there, they scamper up the nearest tree, soon lost to sight. The woodpecker keeps up its tapping, and I hear the echo of another one further away. All around me is the call of the great blue and long-tailed tits as they flitter in the trees, accompanied by the call of the chaffinches. I can detect with weave call of the bullfinch and the warbling of a black cap. A complete orchestra, and above it the sudden liquid song of a robin. I often marvel how such a small bird could fill a concert hall with its triumphant territorial song. I soon see it close by me, not a bit afraid. Then, alerted by movement, I see a nut hatch, and then a second slipping up and down a nearby tree, one facing up and the other down. I admire their colouring of grey and chestnut plumage. I come to my favourite seat and pause to gaze at a patch of bluebells just opening, brought on by last night's deluge. I drink in their blue, almost violet colour and let it seep right into me. Little patches with their tiny bells are opening up all over the wood and I bend to drink in their heady scent. I'm always filled with joy in this wood, which is so full of life and today, spring. The seat overlooks a field with grazing ponies. Riding as a child, a love of horses never leaves me. Behind this field are sheep and lambs. I listen intently to the sound of the ewes, deep throat ma, and the high answering bleat of lambs that have strayed too far. I scan the field with practised eye, as I've been part of many lambing seasons, and I really enjoy being near sheep, as I do horses. There is one pair of twin black lambs among the white ones. I sit and watch their play, as they form gangs and skip and leap in happy abandonment. I can't imagine a spring without lambs. Behind me, a cacophony of sound breaks out. I stand and look eagerly for the source. Jackdaws, blackbirds and even small birds are all sounding their alarm calls, very distressed. Then the cause flies towards me. It is a little owl with its stubby body. It flies to a tall tree with a stream of mobbing birds on its tail. Unable to shelter, it is driven from tree to tree by their furious protest. It is definitely unwelcome in this wood. 
I didn't see where it finally retreated, but I learned later it had been nesting in the house roof, but had been moved on from there. Nearby, a male blackbird breaks out into its pure and fluty song. It bring, brings back the memory of spring evenings in my childhood. I think the sound is as beautiful as that of a nightingale. One of my delights is to wake in the early morning to this song. I walk on. The leaves have given way to sandy soil where rabbits have been busy digging holes. I notice the droppings of a badger and later of a fox. I marvel at how much life occupies this wood. I pause to watch a male and female pheasant stroll across. Seeing me, the male breaks out into his loud rattle of caw, 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 and there is the whir of the wings flapping. I never tire of this wood at the Harry Edwards Sanctuary. I see something new every time. The healing warmth that meets me as soon as I turn into the gates, which fills the house, the sanctuary and chapel, is in the wood too, which is why I spend so much time there. I end in the cherry tree walk. The buds on the cherry trees are just beginning to unfurl. I watch two ponies grazing in the field, and as I drink in the view and the colour of the rolling hills, I listen to the faint mew of two buzzards circling in the distance until they are driven away by crows. All this, and only 30 miles from London. Well, that is April. We're not quite there yet. We've got another month to go. Tracy and I were in the woods yesterday. You may, some of you may have heard about the labyrinth that um, Tracy's designed and which we're starting to build. So Stephen Harris, our gardener, Tracy and I spent about five, six hours yesterday in those lovely woods. Um, and we've got the basic design of the labyrinth now built. Um, and we're just putting down some mesh for the pathways, etc. But I'll leave it for Tracy to tell you all about it on another Healing Minute. Um, she's quite excited with it all and so are the rest of us. She's taking us all along with this excitement. Um, and we've just ordered the seed this morning. There's lots of wildflower seed going to be added to, to the meadow. Um, so come the summer, I'm hoping it will look glorious. And uh, it's being uh, constructed for to mark out for the 75th anniversary of the sanctuary. Anyway, I will stop my rattling now. I'll just play a piece of music to end today. Um, and I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day today on this Wednesday. Wherever you are in the world and whatever you're doing. Just make sure I've got the right piece. I don't want to play uh, the wrong song. So have a lovely day and I'll leave you with the sound of Jerry and the Pacemakers.
well. There's a bonus for you, listening to Jerry and the Pacemakers. Anyway, I'll just leave you with a little bit of Tim Wheater and David Lord, love from the CD in Unity, whilst I uh, gather myself up. <laughs> and I'll carry on with what I was doing at 10 to 10 now. So have a lovely day, everybody. Enjoy yourselves, take special care, and uh, don't forget to join Stephanie tomorrow morning um, for the Healing Minute at 5 to 10. Bye for now, everybody. Bye-bye. Lovely to see you all for the Healing Minute today. Do take special care and uh, I'll see you on Saturday. Bye for now. Bye bye.